meshes. At the beginning of this course, I said that progress has been pretty slow when it comes to meshes, relying on a traditional algorithm called marching cubes to convert intermediate representations to dense meshes. This is no longer the full story, with new work emerging that produces low poly meshes, which I'll talk about later. But first, marching cubes. Marching cubes is an algorithm that converts a volumetric representation to a dense mesh, a volumetric representation being one where you can sample a point in 3D space and get its density. This applies to nerfs, splats, and triplanes. The way marching cubes works is divide the space into voxels. Then for every voxel, sample the eight vertex positions at the corners of the voxel. Each of these will either be on or off, depending on whether the sample density is above some threshold. There are 256 possible combinations, each of which maps to some triangle configuration. So to generate a mesh, we just march through every voxel and apply its corresponding triangle configuration. Easy. So what's the issue? The result is very rough and dense. This has been improved by methods like FlexiCubes, a differentiable technique that moves the vertices, creating a smoother surface. This is the approach used by Instant Mesh, the current state of the art in image to 3D. But even though it's smooth, the topology is still really dense, which isn't suitable for production applications like games. Fortunately, new solutions have emerged. Mesh Anything is a recent research project that converts dense meshes to clean low poly meshes. This approach is based on a technique originally introduced in Mesh GPT, where a VQVAE is trained to encode dense mesh data to a discrete latent representation. Then an autoregressive transformer is trained to generate an output mesh. Another way to think about this is kind of like a language model, but instead of generating words, it generates triangles. There's a demo you can try for free. So has generative 3D reached a tipping point where it can be incorporated in a 3D workflows? Not yet. It still has a ways to go. However, the fact that it's differentiable is a major step toward practical application, being capable of context awareness, such as the shape of the mesh and how it may be rigged and animated. This opens the door to a new generation of topology tools in the near future. Recap, marching cubes is a traditional algorithm that converts volumetric representations to dense meshes. These are mostly unusable in production, but Mesh Anything was just released, which converts these to clean low poly meshes using a differentiable approach. Now let's take a step back and look at the generative 3D pipeline as a whole. Meshes are the final step, which means we're done. But wait, there's still one more section, capstone, where you'll put it all together to build your own generative 3D demo.